Join us for weather on WishTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ken Brewer. We saw a lot of wind here this afternoon across central Indiana. However, I think the wind will start to settle down a little bit here for your evening plans. And you also want to take a jacket because temperatures will be in the 60s. 68 degrees at 7 o'clock, 64 degrees at 9 o'clock, and 60 degrees by the time we reach 11 o'clock for tonight. Winds will still be around 10 miles per hour, but not quite as windy as what we saw for today. Now, overnight, watch for some areas of fog developing. Those winds continue to get lighter. And note the location, higher chances where we had some of the heavier rains here in the last 24 to 36 hours. So mainly eastern Indiana, northern Indiana could have some fog as we get into the morning hours on Wednesday. We'll keep you posted on that. Nighttime temperatures will be comfortably cool around 50 here in the city. Even a little bit chilly in the outlying areas, mid to upper 40s, anywhere from about 45 to 48 degrees, depending on location. Storm Track 8 feature cast for your Wednesday will start quiet. You're going to have an upper level disturbance swing on through, maybe enough to trigger some spotty showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but it'll be very isolated in nature. Not all places are going to see rain. And if you see it, it's probably only going to last about 10, 15 minutes and kind of move away from your location. So your Wednesday forecast, dry at 9 a.m., 53 degrees. We'll say dry at noontime, 63. And spotty showers by 4 o'clock, temperature of 67 degrees. Degrees. Winds will be kicking up out of the northwest again at about 15 miles per hour. So, your eight day forecast, we will see quiet weather return. I did take rain chances out of the forecast for Thursday. We'll see 76 for high on Friday. Zone high school football games look like the weather will be fantastic. Weekend looks fantastic. 74 for a high Saturday, 75 on Sunday. Dry weather on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday de uh, really depends on what happens with the path of Irma. So we'll continue to update that forecast. I'm keeping it dry for now, but there's a chance that we could see some rain from the remnants of Irma by the time we get to middle next week.